welcome to Visions of Light and Love. Okay. This is your reading for the energy in the last week in January. This reading is for all of the Scorpios out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy and my vibe, you connect with this reading. And you feel like I'm the reader for you. Want to show some support to the channel? Hit the thumbs up image along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit the subscription link. Okay. If you feel like you need something more private, something more specific and detailed to your story, the link to the email address is posted below in the description box. Okay. Scorpios. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, some of you are lusting after someone or could be lusting after a, um, a Leo. I'm seeing sacred lust. Someone is lusting here. All right. Showing your vulnerable side. Some of you could be walking around naked. Comment in the comment section. Let me know. But I'm seeing a naked, a naked person. And uh, lust. Someone could be lusting after you. Could be dealing with the fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, comment and let me know. I see you moving towards someone. Moving towards someone that you like. Could be going out on a date. Not dealing with, um, yeah, you're doing things that you like, sacred lust, doing things that make you happy. And you're, and whomever is calling on your phone being negative, you're like, no, not today. <laughs> not today. You've gone through some type of transformation. You're running away from those people. You are running away from those people and telling them, no, not today. You may feel like someone is hiding their feelings for you. Or you may be high, how you truly feel for someone. Okay? This is your energy on the right side, your partners, or your significant other on the left. This person that you're with feels safe. They feel safe and content. This person may read a lot. They may feel like something came full circle with you two. Things are balanced, though. However, you may trigger this person because you may not give them enough. You may be so focused on your own happiness and what you want for yourself. It's not enough for this person right now. Because I'm seeing you feeling yourself right now. But you're moving towards... Okay, another thing I'm getting is if you just met this person, you're dating, this person was in a um, karmic relationship and they left that person because their past person did not give them enough. And now they're making healthier choices by dating you. Oh yeah, they're making healthier choices by dating you. They have a positive mindset, their mindset has changed. This person may have a lot of money or they're very wealthy. They have resources, but they feel like Cupid has hit them. Okay. And this person may be in love with you or they're going to be falling in love with you. They're, um, they're going to accept your invitation to go out as well. And you're going to like this person and they're going to like you. A lot. I feel like neither one of you are going to expect this. Because this person took time out to heal from their past karmic relationship they were in. 
Okay, this is this is nice. This is nice. So now with the um sacred lush, you're open. You are open, Scorpios, to um to receive what this person has to offer. And this person is feeling safe in their own skin. Okay. This person is feeling safe in their own skin. <clears throat> I don't know why these cards... Oh, shoot. I didn't mix the cards up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the heck did I just do? All right, let's see. I don't know what's going on. Okay. mixed up. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let me get one more out for this row. Okay. This should be right now. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because um okay let me just start I, I still have more cards to pull but I'm just gonna start so um Scorpio I see you rushing in to this relationship because you do like this person however this person may have lots of responsibilities in their way or they have um other obstacles that are in their way right now and they want to feel safe they want to feel safe so they're just watching they're waiting and watching to see what you do this person is going to wait and watch they're not rushing this person is not rushing they want to take their time yeah, this person is going to take their time with this new beginning because they want something that's secure, something that is stable, something that it will lead to marriage possibly. That's what this person wants. So they're going to take their time. You're excited from what I'm seeing. Yeah, see, you want to take action, but... This, this may be this person overthinking. Someone here is overthinking, like putting themselves in a mental prison because they're ready. I feel like this is you because you want to take action. You want this two of cups now. Yeah, I'm just seeing action cards. Like you want, some of you Scorpios may be controlling or want to control the situation. You want things to move at the pace you want it to move at. And this may be causing you to feel overwhelmed because you, you may, this may lead to marriage with the justice card. Libra's energy is here, but I'm seeing that, um, this is causing you to feel overwhelmed because you want to balance this out. You want things to be balanced and you feel like if it's not moving to your pace, it's not balanced. This could be the other way around as well. So apply the energy as it fits to your story, but I'm seeing this person. You're very emotional about this new beginning in love. You really, really like this person. And it's causing you to feel confused and conflicted because this person is not moving to your pace. Yeah, they're not moving to your pace. And you're like, I know my worth. I know my value. I know what I bring to the table. I'm emotional about this person. And this person is like, no, we need to you know, hold back a little bit. I like you. This person likes you. But they're not where you are. They're more focused on themselves right now. This person is more focused on themselves right now. 
<clears throat> building their finances up. Yeah. Here we go again. You want to take action and this person is like, they, they're not cutting you off, but um, they want to take things slow. They want things to be nurtured. They want things to grow s slowly. They're not, um, could be a Libra or a um, Taurus. They're not walking away, but they just want to take things a little slower. Okay? They don't want to rush into anything. They want to make sure that this is what they get. And, and yeah, because look at this. This is what this person wants. They want marriage, new stable beginning within financially within a house and a home. This is what they want. All right. So Scorpios, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your reading for the energy in the last week of January. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.